Hello everybody and welcome back to Gale and Darling's Pokemon Nuzlocke Run. I'm Darling. No you're not. Ah, I was hoping to trick you. Duck season. Rabbit season. Have you had... No, you don't like duck. I've probably had duck, but I probably didn't like it. You've told me that you didn't like it before, which is why I've never made it for you. Yeah, that would make sense. I don't think I've... <laughs> Look, there's not a lot that I like that's of I... uh, interesting meat. I really like duck, um, but it is very fatty, so I get why you wouldn't enjoy it. Yeah, I'm not a fatty food person. Like, all my meat... I, 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 like, try to cut up as much of the fat as possible. Don't eat the skin. Which makes it so much fun cooking for you. <laughs> <sighs> Look, it's to help my, my top tier physique. You don't stay this thin while not exercising and still <laughs> eating ice cream by eating the fat <laughs> on chicken. <laughs> you gotta give up something. Oh, okay. Are they gonna do another one or do I get to heal between? Yep, another one. And another. And another. And another. Well, someone's getting some decent XP. Let's just let's just full restore. Do I have one? I have one. One. Oh yeah, let's just let's just do this so you can get the XP. I hope you don't get poisoned again. Yes. Okay. So, what are you doing now? Going to the last gym. Good for you. <laughs> I'm facing just a bunch of swimmers. They're on the way to the last gym, but I'm just facing the swimmers. Wow, instant defrost. That's nice. I might actually go to the islands just to get some training mm -hmm. because uh, I feel a bit behind where most of my Pokemon, in fact all of them other than Edmund I feel, are behind and I obviously I can't rely on Edmund for the next gym. Oh, it's the ground type, right? It's the ground gym. And unlike you, I don't have like a super duper water type. <laughs> At least not yet. Ahab's yeah. working on it. Um, so... Oh boy, it's doing that acid armor minimize strategy. My hope is that maybe I can just go and hang out on the islands and just just grind trainers. You could catch a Moltres? I could catch a Moltres. That's not going to be helpful against the ground gym either. No, but it's still pretty <laughs> helpful just in general. Um, but yeah. So, that's, that's the hope. Oh, now it's boss's turn. Okay. Five in a row, no, four in a row? Yeah, the fourth one. Cue ball Paxton. How'd you become a leader of a biker game with a name like Paxton? You know, I might not want to go though if they're uh, if they're sending out wheezings. Oh my gosh! <laughs> I was flying, and that's why I don't want to go where they're sending out wheezings. I totally guessed that was gonna happen. <laughs> the fear! <laughs> I just saw that he was gone and the explosion, and I was like. My brain couldn't process, it was like, I see the green health bar, but you're not there, wait! And it like short-circuited for totally, I totally predicted that. <laughs> I was like, it could just start off with something. I need to fly. Oh my gosh. Uh... Oh, Minimize again. Such a, such a fun, such a fun Pokemon to play I against. I hate Mux. I hate Acid Armor and Minimize. I hate it. Three minimizes in a row. It's just At why? least I mean, I'm still hitting some. I've hit two of three. I've hit two of four. Yeah, but now it's gonna hit its stride. And then it's gonna do something stupid that allows it to heal or something. I don't know. I've hit two of five. 
It has Screech, Sludge, Acid Armor, and Minimize. I've hit three of six. See? We got there. Okay, you did. <laughs> I died. I had two Pokemon die. My attempt. <laughs> Uh, do I have any Giga Drains? Uh, I think you have one left. Let's try. Haha, -ha, you can't recover. I haven't killed you yet. Ishmael? Okay, Ishmael. Oh, hey, I got a I see store. how it is. Rapid spin! You can do it, Ishmael. No, it can't. Not this turn. You can do it. It's gonna just keep trying to recover, but it's got nothing to recover from. Oh gosh, Ishmael! Ishmael, you son of a gun. Snapped out of confusion. Thank giggity giggity goodness. Lostel. Alright, Barry. Oh, she went off toward where? Barry Forest? Yes. Bond Bridge, that's how you get there. Okay. You have level 35! Yeah! How many hyper potions do I have? Not enough. That's the only answer. It's never enough. And you know, let's get some more Super Ball or Ultra Balls while we're at it. That's actually a song that I really like. I've never seen The Greatest Showman, like the movie. In case anybody was confusing it with the, anything else that would be considered the greatest showman. Anyway, I didn't see the movie. I like the music. Don't I'm not I'm not too happy about uh, the glorification of, of P.T. Barnum. Yeah, so I haven't seen it. Or the repeated, very very easily proven baseless rumors that he was having an affair. Yeah. But the, the the one girl that he the, the, the... Just, just hold up for a second. I love that they're like, we need to introduce some flaws to make him more relatable. How about all these awful things that we know he did that are awful? Nah, we'll just go with he's having an affair. Yeah, but like the girl that he supposedly like that he's having an affair with in the movie. That I think I think that's how the movie goes. Anyway, what she has I this really see? she has a really cool song called Never Enough. And it's like a really cool power ballad, and I'm a sucker for power ballads. And I love it. And it's just like I don't I don't wanna ever see the context of this song. <laughs> I just wanna like listen to this song as just this cool song <laughs> that's sung about a lady who's just like, I'm always gonna want more. And I don't want to, to know why she's always wanting more. <laughs> so, I also get to get a new Pokemon in Bond Bridge. Look, this is making up for all the ones that I fainted. <laughs> oh, I was supposed to catch a tentacle here. Oh, well. Are you going to catch a Sea King? No, this is, oh, this a, is a battle. This okay. is a dude's. Also, I have a Goldeen. Look at those Clefairies! Brings back... Brings back the nightmares of the Clefairy game in Pokemon Stadium. Okay, I thought you were talking about the uh, Clefairy Max Raid battles that no. happened early on in Sword. Where it would... Was it Clefairy that would just spam Minimize? And uh, become impossible to beat? It might have. I never had a problem with it. No, I'm just thinking of the... Fairy! 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 Fairy, fairy, fairy. Ba-dum, ba-dum, ba <laughs> Did you get it wrong? Wrong, wrong! <laughs> Smack you with a mallet! I... I used to be so good at it as a kid, and then I played it again, like, within the past year or so, because I gifted my, my brother a, a Nintendo 64, and that was one of the mm -hmm. things we got for him. Uh... And I was just so much worse at it. And I was like, either my young brain was like primed for what, like memorizing this Clefairy's movements, or I'm like slowly becoming less and less smart <laughs> and able to retain knowledge <laughs> as I grow up. 
it's very, uh, very funny All right. to me. And also kind of concerning, but mostly the funny. All right, sorry. I was just checking, and I, there's no new Pokemon that I can catch here. So we should go find Lestelle, then move along. I get it. She's lost. And hell. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, Bulbasaur. Oh my gosh, you got the legendary Bulbasaur too? No, I broke into the professor's house. Ah! That's also canon, apparently. I mean, it is for silver. Duke, but silver's, silver? Silver's just cool like that. Silver just breaks into your house and steals <laughs> your Pokemon. Silver don't care. And he never gets charged for it. People just go, eh, he turns out to be a decent guy in the end, so let's not charge <laughs> him for theft. He can keep that Pokemon. Uh, you know, it brings up an interesting thought, conversation I had with myself in my head as a possible thought for a video. But that was a way to get there. <laughs> it was a conversation I had in my head with myself <laughs> to me with me <laughs> about a video. Um, but I was wondering how much, you know, like everybody feels that the old uh, Pokemon rivals were like best and they're a-holes and like really like full of personality, right? If you consider dickishness a personality trait, then yes. My thought, and I've been analyzing this because of, like, Sword and Shield and stuff, is I wonder how much of that is, like, true, and how much of it is we built a collective personality for those characters around, like, a couple of lines that didn't exist at first, or, like, hmm. versus, like, the anime. Because, like, Gary oh. in the games... I think he only catches you outside of a place where you possibly, like, haven't healed twice. Maybe just once, really, in the SSN. But it's kind of like... Ooh, see your power is so strong. But it's kind of like such a, oh, wow, like, what a tough, you know, fight. No, no, twice because once in Cerulean City, when you go up on Nugget Bridge, he kind of okay. surprises oh, yeah, you there. That. And then the SSN. So it's kind of like, you know, you get the the idea, oh, Gary always pops around a corner and is, like, ready to, to, to fight you. Yeah. But, like, we haven't faced our rival In since Lavender, or, no, since the, um... The Sylph Co. Sylph Co, right? Right after you're, you pass a heal spot, right? Mm -hmm. So it's, it's kind of like, yes, but, like, how tough is he actually... Like, I don't, like, it's kind of hard to, to quantify, like, yeah, how I much... Think, I think it's I think it's less about him popping out, and I think more of that was just him as the champion. I mean, him because being the champion is Because that's where cool, it's yeah. like, beating the Elite Four is the hardest thing of the game. Up till you have to fight someone else afterward. And it's like, that's, that's the that's most surprise fight, I think. That's true, but then I think, like... Silver's also beloved, but he's also- he doesn't become champion. I- again, I have not played Gen 2 through, so well, I wouldn't know. He doesn't become champion, and, like, the moss he does- okay, Ahab, if you don't want to play, that's fine. <laughs> I guess you don't want to live anymore. I guess you're just- I guess you just want to be in the box. I guess you're just done with life, that's fine. We all make decisions. But, I like- uh, my point is, like, especially with, like, personality and lines, Gary Oak obviously has a very strong personality in the anime. And I wonder, like, how, if you didn't have the anime, how well that, like, personality would, like, stick with everybody. Because, mm -hmm. like, right, we haven't seen him in a long while. Do you remember what he told us in Self Co. other than, like, eh, let's fight. <laughs> I, I... This is interesting because Pokemon very early on established a pretty significant presence in so many different forms of media, right? Mm -hmm. You had the card game, you had the manga, you had the TV show, you had movies, you had games, you had merchandise. Like, 
it very quickly just became an encompassing brand. So, yeah. as someone who didn't watch any of the show, I saw like one or two of the movies. It's weird because I only got what was in the games. Then my question is, from your perspective, does Gary slash your rival in this game have as much personality as the rivals in the current games? Not at all. Also because some of that is there's so little interaction. I mean, in, in the new game, right, in Sword, you run into Hop pretty much between every single gym. And you battle seven or eight times. Or at least a decent amount. You do, like, all of the side story quests with him. But, like, I, 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 it, when, it's rare that I see Smebulok and remember that his name was Smebulok. <laughs> and it's rare enough that it surprises me each time it happens. Yeah. Because I think, like, that's my, I, that's my hypothesis, is that a lot of, uh, man, not everything, but a lot of nostalgia, especially for the first games, gets built on with the fact that an anime came out, and you weren't analyzing the games it helps you before can, then. It almost helps you contextualize it, right? Yeah, so like, and, and I don't mean like necessarily, like obviously there's, there's anime episodes for Sword and Shield, right? Well, technically, they're not necessarily Sword and Shield, but like Sun and Moon and stuff. Mm -hmm. But like... We get the games first, and now most a good portion of fans are old enough to where they analyze that the the games and just like the subtleties, as, yeah, as themselves without the context of any of the additional like added, mm -hmm. you know, the card games, stuffed animal merchandise, yeah. you know, the TV show. So it kind of brings up, like, I love Gary Oak. I think he's amazing. But when I picture Gary Oak, I picture anime Gary Oak. I don't picture, yeah. you know, game. And also, like, manga Gary Oak, who's not Gary Oak. He's, uh, I he's green or blue, depending on, you know, if you yeah. use the Japanese or English translation. But he's totally different from, like... He's fairly different. Hey, let's from see if I get a new Pokemon in Berry Forest. Gary Oak in the anime. So, like, when people say, oh, I hate these new rivals and they don't have personality, why can't they go back to, like, the old rivals? Sometimes I'm like, I don't think you really remember the old rivals just as <laughs> what they were in the games, where they came up, they said something about, I want to battle. You battled, and then they go, well, I wasn't trying anyway, so <laughs> I'm not. I don't care. And then they walk off. Like I, I definitely, I definitely agree that the further back you go in the Pokemon games, the the there is such little character in the original game, right? There's so few lines of dialogue, and the art is so simplistic that it's hard to really get a lot of character details just at all. I think moving along into the newer ones, they go too heavy on that. Like, yeah. Hop has, like, multiple arcs. <laughs> which is weird. Because none of them really make him likable enough to be, like, a good character. But it's just weird that he gets that much attention. I, like I, I still. I still think they made a mistake by not making, like, Marnie the main one. Because Marnie was so much cooler of a concept and a character than Hop. Again, but Marnie doesn't do anything. They should have made her do something. That's what I'm saying. They should have, like... You just wanted to be a hot girl. Hop was annoying. If it was a girl, you'd be like, oh, she's cute. Because it was a girl. Fair, but Hop was annoying. I didn't find Hop that annoying. How I found annoying. Hop, I was like, oh, he's he's a, he's a t you know, 10 to 13 year old kid. Which is what we all should be, technically. 
So like, I wasn't terribly bothered because I was just like, oh look, he's a 13 year old at best child. It was, to me it was, I don't know, maybe it was just his smile that I really didn't like. <laughs> he just, he just, he has this really punchable face. Oh my god! But they give him this character that's like, oh I'm trying hard and I'm gonna beat the big brother with my own. And he's this hyper optimistic, out of touch with reality, and just like, I I can't get into this. I'm sorry. And then he gets the snot beat out of him and becomes what aware of reality. Ooh, what's up here? Um, is that lost? A out? tiny a tiny child, possibly a hypno. Let's find out. I will discover your secrets, child. Fisherman Ronald. Does the child have secrets? Uh, who you know home? who does have secrets? Vanilla Bean. Vanilla Bean's at the door, and she has so many secrets to share. Isn't that right, Vanilla Bean? See? <sighs> Look! Hit a hit, no. though! I also can't catch it, so... I wonder... Can I just pursue you to death? Probably. No, it it that was not a for a crit that was not a lot of damage. Let's just do this. It'll work. There we go. Lustel, go home so that I can go home and end this nightmare. <laughs> I got an Aya Papa berry. I will say this in defense of Hop. I think as we grow older, we remember the older rivals as like cool teenagers, right? And they were older and oh, so we, we stone. they they seemed cooler. And now they're making the rivals like the actual age of the characters instead of like the cool teens hmm. and i think people don't like that and i think people like lots of people our age find kids annoying you find kids annoying Incredibly. so of course if a rival acts <laughs> the age of the demographic pokemon's four you're gonna find them annoying because they're acting like a kid. Which is kind of the point. It's 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 a child RPG yeah. about collecting cute friendly animals and making them battle so you can achieve the greatest title in a land of adults who clearly in a real situation would have you totally beat. But this is a child fantasy. Speaking of which. So the children in your child fantasy being children isn't really that unexpected. Vermilion Port and I can go back, but I never have to go back. Never again! Magikarp! I think we talked about this briefly, but... We, let's talk about last episode, we're, you know, considering what games we're going to play next after this inevitably crashes and burns at the Elite Four. <laughs> when, we, when we mourn the loss of everyone. <laughs> so, I still am okay with the idea of doing something like a Pokemon mod game. Like, maybe not like a, like a... Either just a straight hack. Maybe not a straight hack, right? Maybe not just like... I'll just make you play Pokemon Reborn. And then I'll just laugh as you flail oh, desperately. No, I've, I've watched you play that game. That game is just... Grind and then maybe win so you can go grind some more. Um, but I do like the idea of doing something like Moemon. But I don't. <laughs> They're cute. I would love stuffed animals of those little Jajinka, uh, you know, icons <laughs> and, and sprites. 
But man, I can't deal with an, with thirty hours of looking at tiny girls fighting each other. <laughs> Plus, knowing my luck, we'd do a nuzlocke, and I get all the ones that are just kind of mad <laughs> instead of the cute, cute ones, and I I'd think, be mad. I think maybe not a nuzlocke; it'd be like a randomizer. We it probably wouldn't be a full series; it'd be an episode or two of just like pure chaos randomizer. We just do a 24 hour live stream of just. <laughs> uh, we did. Uh, we did. A couple of us, uh, Inkaboo, Misty, Gale, and I, did a randomizer that was um, types and moves you learned, and like everything was randomized. And I had almost soft locked myself. Because there was a Pokemon, I think it was the, um, I don't remember what it was. I think it was, it doesn't matter, because it was entirely random. But it had Wonder Guard, and only, because of its type combo, only one move, type of move was super effective against it. And it was Fire Moves. And I had no Fire Moves. And no Pokemon up to that point had any Fire Moves. So I had to use a Metronome. And get fire spin to be able to faint it. <laughs> yep. Yes, let's surf. It was a Snorlax is what it was. Mm. Because I couldn't pass it without it. <laughs> I'm gonna try to catch this Tangela. I'm gonna do this double battle, because I like double battles. I think I'm gonna replace Lapras with... Uh, Machop. Just because I already have a I mean, I like the you ice You don't moves, need but... to justify it. I already knew that was what was going to happen the minute well, you got that I'm debating, because Vaporeon has an ice move. The Lapras doesn't really have a ton of function. This is either going to kill it, or it's not. It's not. You going to catch it? Yes. It's the uh, only, po only patch of grassland. Gonna use it. Not gonna use the Tangela. One, two, three. Yes! Wow! Oh, we might be out enough Pokemon for the XP share now. Uh, you might, because you went to a whole bunch of places. I'm not. I think I got like three Pokemon from that, so I leveled them up then maybe, but... Oh, I, I was supposed to name Tangela. I totally forgot that part too, but it's okay. I'm not gonna use it. Its name is. Uh. Terry. Ulysses. Don't you already have a Ulysses? I don't think so. Ma! 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 Okay, I'm home. so named after the Joyce book. Named after the 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 Roman the hero, the big book or that named, nobody reads. Yeah, by Ulysses by Joyce. Yeah, um, because it's like what? Or were you naming after Ulysses S. Grant? No, oh. literary characters. So since nobody knows what's in Ulysses because nobody's ever read it, <laughs> fitting for a Tangela that's never going to be used. Hey guys. I, I just came from around the world. Are we ever going to have, like, a uh, a Gale and Darlings book club? Where we just pick all of the challenge books? We'll do Infinite Jest. We'll do Ulysses. Look, I read War and Peace. Not because I wanted to, but because Artemis Fowl did. And I had to be just <laughs> as smart as Artemis Fowl. I ain't never doing anything like that again. It was awful. I finished it. Don't ask me questions about it. I understood nothing other than the French name everyone Nicolet, and that's <laughs> it. <laughs> that's what I learned. Yes, Mom. I will take a quick rest. Uh, it was a nightmare. It was funny because then people knew me as the girl who carried around a big, thick, warm peace book around. Uh, but oh well. I've made it to Viridian City. You are about to make it to Viridian City. Oh, I can just fly to Viridian City. Why am I going through this forest? Mm -hmm. I gotta get that sick XP. 
Gotta get that sick Rattata <laughs> XP. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna level you up, just you watch. Just you watch I that. I don't know if you're gonna get me to the next tip. <laughs> no, it did I not. did <sighs> Anyway, now that we are basically in Viridian City, we're ready to face the last gym. The gym leader who we do not know. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. So we it's will- It's Norman, right? Oh yeah, totally Norman. Okay. Uh, we'll see you guys next time in the gym finale for Gale and Darling's Pokemon Nuzlocke Run. Bye-bye. Hi there, it's the end of the video, my friend. Hit the bell if it was okay, I'm sure I'll make good content someday. I'll play some games or do some drawing Pokemon and fights with darling video essays and reviews. I couldn't do it without you, so thanks. Like and subscribe.